<sighs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tia's Coloring Chronicles, and today we're doing yet another Peter Pan session and our little Tinkerbell that we've been working so hard on. I haven't got everything viewed just right yet. I think maybe that's better. Like there. I think that'll work. Oh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> it is what it is here, people. All right. We... I, um, actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this cold that's going around town. Ah. So I think I was going to work on some greens today. I want to fill in that little corner of the wing before I forget to. Is that hair? I think that's hair. We're gonna go hair. Oh yeah, it was hair. Oh, hi Taylor. How are you? In case anybody. I think maybe me and you are the only ones in here, but for people who watch this later, because I do have people that watch later, um, Taylor was in not only my LPN class with me, but in my RN class as well. And she rocked her NCLEX today. I just know it. <sighs> so... Um, I know you guys have probably heard me talk about my aunt on this channel quite a bit who, um, buy it, would occasionally buy me coloring supplies and do books and taught me a lot about using eyeshadow. Um, so I was at work Wednesday. Um, and my brother texted me and told me to get a hold of him. And when I did, he let me know that my aunt had passed away rather unexpectedly. Um, so I'm kind of dedicating this coloring session to my aunt because she loved to color as well. She was really um, there for me right after my mom died. So... Oh, I miss Dawson too! I wouldn't be around him right now, though, because I have this whole head cold thing going on and just not not the best. Let's see if I can get the lighting a little better. Oh, thank you. Um, but I, we're fine. But I'm dedicating this coloring session to my Aunt Peggy. So, I have lots of fond memories of hanging out at her house with my cousins and down at the pond. It's just kind of not been a good year for my family, to be honest with you. We just keep getting hit on all sides is it just me or is this picture foggy i know i saw it's right here so is little dawson growing like a weed
<laughs> no desire to crawl. Wants to go straight to walking. I've heard some kids skip crawling. Maybe you'll have one of those. Briar, before he started crawling, would do like this, I don't know, like weird butt rock. Where he would get down, get on his hands and knees and kind of like rock like he was going to start crawling. And then he'd like splat out. Did you end up getting any of those brush tip markers? I just got a pack of brush tip markers. Um, brush tip water markers, but... Uh, hold on just a second and I'll show you what I got. They just came in today, so I haven't used them. I just got these in today. They're the Lemouch. I don't even know, but it looks French to me. So, Lemonuch. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, but there's 60 of them, and I think they were like $23-ish, and there were 60 of them. But I haven't tried them yet. But I plan on doing some coloring in Mouse Guard. When I'm done doing my color and chat, because um, I'm going to do this whole book right here in markers, in water markers. There's the first one I got done the other night. So, and then I'm going to start in on this lady tonight, I think. Yeah, I got, where do I always get my stuff? Amazon's my, my crack dealer, man. I'm going to... I think I'm going to do a review, a play with these, and then do a proper review on them. I was going to get, I was thinking about getting the, um, oh, if I can think what their name are. Hold on. I have it. Tip of my tongue. The Arteza ones, but they were like $60 for 90 and I'm like, eh, I'm not sure I want to spend like that much money on them yet. So, I opted out of those. Yeah, I'm still working there. I applied for the wound the wound nurse position there. I'm not sure if I'll get it, but I figured it can't hurt to apply. I would appreciate that. I need another green. I'm thinking kind of an olivey green. Oh yeah, this one. Yes. Let's sharpen this one up. How's Blake? Blake? 
I have been good. I've been crazy busy myself. Um, I've been working anywhere from 9 to 10 hour days, 5 days a week. Occasionally throwing in a 12 there. So I have been crazy busy as well. Which is probably the reason that I haven't been on YouTube a whole heck of a lot lately. Because I just haven't had the time. I thought when school would end, I was mistaken. Thinking that I would have more time for my YouTube channel. But I haven't found that balance quite yet. But busy with work means more money, right? So, it's not, not, not necessarily a bad thing on either of our ends. Are you still at uh, that one place? Do you like it there? Or is it like most, most places and you like it most days and some days you uh, find it frustrating? You haven't posted any new pictures of the baby in a while. How are we supposed to get our baby fix? You got a job offer for the OR? Wow. Go you. Through which hospital? Nice. I wouldn't want OR. Not necessarily uh, because I find it gross or I couldn't deal with like the blood and guts of it because I totally could. But I just, I just kind of think surgery is boring. I know you did. You did. Especially if you did the trick. 
And you'll be able to find out for sure on Monday, I guess. Or will it be Tuesday? Since you, it would be Tuesday, wouldn't it? It has to be business days. You did. Uh, no, two, two, uh, two, not what I'm looking for. Nope, don't like that one either. There we go. Okay, that one. Yep, okay, that's different, that one. Let me see. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. Keep my fingers crossed for you, okay? <sighs> so anyway, as I was saying, my aunt was a big color as well. Um, and she worked a lot with eyeshadows and grayscale. In fact, the eyeshadow palette that I have that I primarily use for my grayscale pictures, she bought me. And she bought me a few books. And she encouraged me through nursing school because she herself was an RN. So it came as a little bit of a surprise when I got the news. So... Just kind of been a rough year for my family. First my mom. Now my aunt. And they were best friends. So. I think I need one more green, guys. I have four greens here that I've been working with. I have these four, but I think I need one more. Kind of like a true green, I think, as opposed to something a little muddied. So let's see what I can find. Maybe this one? No, that's going to be like, no. That's like almost neon green. That's not going to do it for me. Nope. Um, I kind of like this one though. I'm working primarily. Um, let's see. I think we'll go with. I don't know. I kind of like that one actually. We're working primarily with the Fila's and the Amazon Basics today, but pretty much anything that's in my easy to grab range is up for, well, grabs. Yes. I think we found it. I think we're going to go with this one, guys. Yep. All right. to say this paper really has been a absolute joy to work with though it is so so smooth so nice
going to have to make a vet appointment for the dogs. They need to go in for their shots and their flea treatments. That's always a fun little adventure to do with them. Note the sarcasm in my voice. Minion, she literally acts like you are trying to murder her as soon as she sees the vet's building. And Sophie just, well, Sophie just kind of quakes. So I need to do that. Briar needs to go in for his yearly physical to make sure everything's functioning okay on his end, which I'm sure it is. When he was very, very first born, we thought maybe he'd have some kidney issues, but we ran some tests and he came out okay. So those have kind of been resolved. I have new markers to test out. I have my first book that I bought off Etsy coming to here in a couple days. I'm really excited about that. What buggy? I have a special boy reveal. You need to go to bed. It is bedtime, boy. You need to go night night. You can show me in the morning. Go to bed. Night, Bobby. Somebody took a nap this afternoon, so now I didn't want to go to bed. Go figure. He's a good kid overall. He just has way, way too much energy. Way too much energy. We take him, I think I've told you guys this before, but we have taken him to uh, this place called Toddler Gym, which is hosted through the YMCA. And let him run amok on Fridays. Doesn't even put a dent in him. I think I want to do this olivey green over here.
let's see. We're going to do this one in the... Um, no, I think we're going to go with this over here. Yes. So what's everybody been coloring lately? I've been coloring a little bit in Mouse Guard. That's about it. I really haven't had much time lately. Time I get home from work and get dinner settled and get the kid down, I'm exhausted. It's time to go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. I like to live stream on these days because I'm off this weekend. I work every other weekend and this is my weekends off so I can stay up a little bit late and it's not really going to hurt anything. I have a friend that lives a couple towns over that is going to watch Briar for me um, one weekend. So me and the husband can go out and to dinner and a movie maybe. Kind of excited about that. Kind of been in a Harry Potter mood lately too. Like, I need to sit down and binge watch the movies. Yeah, I should start reading them to Briar when he goes to bed. The Harry Potter movies. Or <laughs> movies, yes. I'm going to read to him the movies. <laughs> the Harry Potter books. Allow him to appreciate fine literature early. Tell you what, this cold is kicking my butt.
Yes, I'm just not overly talkative today, huh? It's alright. We'll color Tinkerbell and... Just relax. I know I've told you guys about the campground that we used to visit whenever I was a kid. Lincoln Trails. My aunt used to visit us there as well. It's where um, my grandma and grandpa would take their kids there. Including my aunt and my mom when they were growing up so like the whole generations have grown up at this camp this campground uh, which is part of the reason I wanted to get married there so I told my husband that when I die he needs to spread my ashes there if I get cremated, I don't know what's going to happen to me. <laughs> See, let's go with this one. Uh, no, this one. Yes. We're bright green, I think. Let's do some bright green up here. I follow this YouTuber. Um, called Ask a Mortician. Now that we're getting into like some depressing stuff. And she's part of the, how does she put it? Death positive movement. Not necessarily like pro-death, but being proactive about what happens to you and what you want done and being less big um, big company funerals and more, um, home funeral kind of stuff. And I find her really interesting. I'm listening to her book right now called, it's her first book. She has two books out. One's called From Here to Eternity, I think. And the other one's called Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and the Stories from the Crematorium. Um, and that's the one I'm listening to right now. And it's basically like how she got her beginnings in um, mortuary and the death industry and um, kind of her feeling like she had to prove herself because she was a female and there's not a whole lot of women in this, in that industry and stuff like that. So it's really been interesting I can't really say read because I haven't been reading it. Reading it, I've been listening to it. Um, but it's been an interesting listen. And she does things like uh, a car. Um, iconic corpses where it talks about like famous corpses um, and she has a series called the middle ages were magic which basically talks about like weird stuff they believed in the middle ages I guess she did her dissertation for her doctorate on um, witchcraft in the middle ages or something along that effect but I've been finding her really interesting. So definitely, she definitely has a unique take on everything. Uh, she's very much like for like natural burial, you know, instead of like like um, embalming and stuff like that. Doing stuff where you shroud the body with no and don't do any chemicals. So it's all organic and decomposing and stuff like that. So I find that really interesting. You know, to talk about happy topics on my channel.
Nope, Tia just throws it right on out there. We're going to talk about death today. But, you know, when you lose somebody, it just kind of brings up all that kind of stuff. I honestly don't know what's going to happen with my Aunt Peggy. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. We all are ha we're having this big get-together at, at her house. The family is. Um, and probably some of her friends kind of deal. So I guess we'll find out then. But Aunt Peggy was definitely a... She was, she was real. She wasn't going to sugarcoat things for you, but you always knew that she had your back. You know, she thought you were messing up. She was going to tell you point blank she thought you were messing up, but, you know, at the same time, you knew she had your back. If you hear me sniffling, I am not crying. I promise I am so stuffed up from this cold I have. Everybody keep their small, tiny children and elderly people away from me. Everybody in, in town seems to have gotten this nasty thing. A little Petri dish of a town we have. I used to joke that our town only had culture found in a Petri dish. And then we started to get more restaurants in. We have like two sushi restaurants now, a Thai restaurant. I just heard something fall in my child's room. 90% sure he did not go to bed like I told him to. And now I have to decide, is it worth the fight? Huh. Is it worth the fight? I think he's gonna win this one as long as he doesn't stay in his room. As long as he stays in his room. I'm gonna let him have it. I'm thinking about making these flowers purple. I haven't decided yet. Either orange or purple. Just don't know. Oops. I have a nice little mix of the Amazons and the Felis here. How have we already been going for 41 minutes? That's crazy.
Oh, get down to the wire. I think I'm going to make those that one orange, and I think I'm going to make the other ones purple. I think that's the way I'm going to play that. I think, I think, I think. How are you? We are just coloring up uh, Tinkerbell here. Oh, well, thank you. Are you having a good evening? Oh, don't feel bad about that. I have tons of books that I haven't colored in yet. Yeah, I really liked his uh, Peter Pan book. I wasn't... I looked at his Beauty and the Beast, which is actually like my favorite fairy tale and I wasn't too keen on it so I didn't get it but Peter Pan which I'm usually not into uh, really spoke to me so here we are Yes, I like Tinkerbell as well. She's a bit ornery, but I love her for it. Definitely plays by her own rules. I'll have to look at the Snow White and the Alice book. I'll have to look up a flip through of those. Because maybe I would be interested in maybe the Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> That's why I love her. Because she plays by her own rules. Right? I was mentioning in the first, first one we did of her. Um, that... Everybody f tends to forget that in the book, at least, she tries to poison Wendy. So she's definitely a little bit ornery. She was just mad because Wendy was making the moves on her man. Alright, and then we're going to do purple for the flowers. Yes, I want that one, and I want... Let me see. I'll leave that down. Got 
come back in with this one. No, this still makes very well. So this is a oh that goes in here. There we go. She can be. She can be. Well, maybe this will inspire you to get out the Peter Pan book and color her up. I mean, but I get it. There's books that I have that I can't bring myself to touch because I'm like, ah, oh, they're too precious. I'll just mess them up. And then I'm like, you got to get over yourself, Tia. It's a coloring book, man. What did we do the first picture? I think the first picture we literally just did. I want to say we just did the wings and maybe the hair. No, the hair was definitely second video. Maybe we just got the skin and the wings in the first video. We didn't get very far. That's sad. If you enjoy doing it, that's what you want to do with your spare time. I mean, it's your spare time. You get to decide what you do with it. I'm notorious for not really watching anything so much as listening to it. Oh, thank you. So I do a lot of listening while doing other things. My husband swears I, I might have some kind of attention disorder. He might be right, but I don't know. <laughs> I just get bored if I'm sitting here not doing anything. So I'll listen to my YouTubers and I haven't really had much time lately, as I was saying earlier. See where I'm sitting on battery. I'm sitting at 26%. So we might be able to we might be able to finish this today. I have a neat little trick I'm gonna show for doing the background here in a little bit. As soon as I get these flowers done. I saw it on one of my Facebook groups. I'm on this Facebook group for a local craft store called Daisy Lanes. And they showed this technique on their channel and I was like what or not their channel but their Facebook um thing and of course they were using like distressed ink pads but uh you don't have to have distressed ink pads 
So I always struggle with backgrounds. It's like my kryptonite. But I think this might actually do me a world of good. So we're going to try this here in a minute. Oh, well, I don't, I, whenever people tell me they're just divorced, I don't know whether they say I'm sorry or congratulations. So congratulations, I'm sorry. Oh, no, backgrounds are by kryptonite, but this might, this might be a, this might be a viable option for me because it looks like an ink version of, uh, it goes out looking like an ink version of soft pastels and maybe slightly less messy, which will be nice. So on this one, I'm just going to touch up this colors right here, kind of at the base, add a little bit of. I haven't seen her videos lately. Like I said, I haven't had much time to color or YouTube or anything. Maybe she has the same technique that I'm about ready to show. I want to give credit where credit is due. I don't have the distressed inks. I have some of the distressed markers, though. Which I hated when I first bought them, but now they're really growing on me. Right? I do too. I used to be big on Facebook too. Because you can do a lot of, learn a lot of stuff from the people on the Facebook coloring groups too. But I don't have time for that even. Oh, I'm liking how those flowers came out. That's right, we do have different art, artsy styles. Some people can color things completely unrealistic and it looks great. Me, if I try to color a purple bunny, it's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hate it. I like it when other people do it, but something about me just is like, revolt, revolt! Okay, so I'm trying to look. I think we need to outline this area right here. Nope, that's the wrong color. Okay, so now we're going to try this whole background thing. I think we're... Oh, no, hold on. I still need to do the inside of those, don't I? I think I go with this one right here. Not there, not there. Here. All right, let me see the time, see if we have time to finish this up. What my battery life's at, because I record on my phone. 18%. Okay, so that's approximately 18 minutes. So I'm going to show you this technique real quick, okay? Because it is literally the coolest thing I've seen in a while. 
So I don't have the distress tanks. I just have these really kind of cheapo things that I bought from um, Joanne Fabrics. And we are going to... These are little ink pads. Nothing really special about them. But here's where the magic comes in. These. I These are um, those makeup brushes and I got this pack at Walmart for less than five dollars and I was super impressed when I saw them do it so let's pick out a shade let's pick out I think we're gonna go with let's do that that right that pink right there. No, that purple. That one right there. Like I said, these are just cheap little... I think these this whole set was like, I don't know, $3 maybe, so... They definitely, does it say a price tag on them or a price on them? Nope. So, anyway, they definitely weren't very much. So, I'm going to pick this one up. There's the color on it. And I'm just going to rub it around. And then we're just going to lay it down. But it kind of gives it, in my opinion, this gives it kind of like a look um, like like past, like soft pastels. But you're not getting that chalks everywhere. And then take a look at this. So I'm rubbing it on. And then here's a clean piece of paper. There's hardly any like waste. I mean, there's a little bit, but not a whole lot. You can rub it in circles, get down in there with the details. But I've been so excited to try this out once I saw it on that thing. I love soft pastels, I really do. Uh, but they can be a bit messy. Like, honestly, my favorite way to do soft pastels up until I found this little nice little interesting trick was my soft pastels and then spray it with a little bit of hair hairspray you probably find something similar I don't know exactly what kind of they're called but you can probably find something similar on Amazon for fairly cheap Yeah, I saw this technique and I was just like, mind blown. Makes me want to go. And of course, now I have to go out and get a whole bunch of. Um, i get a whole bunch more ink pads now.
And there we go. Take's done. Nice pink little background and everything. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like her. And then I always sign mine with... Oh, I swear. My sinuses. Hi, Candy. We're just finishing up. What's today? The ninth? The eighth? It's the eighth. She's all done. I hope you guys like that little trick. I wonder if you can layer them. I'm glad you guys like her. I don't think she looks too bad. Let's try it. I have this. What color is this? Let's try out some of this coral to some spots and see what happens. Oh, I like that actually. I like that a lot. I might think this might be my best background ever. <laughs> awesome sauce. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. All right, ladies, I'm about ready to die. I'm at 5%, so I'm going to call it here. I hope you guys have a great night. We got Tinkerbell finished. I feel very accomplished. Um, it was nice talking to you guys, and thank you both for joining me. Um, and until next time, live well. Bye, guys. <laughs>